Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while. Today we're going to go over um, the new Hannah Instrument Marine Master Multi-Parameter Photometer. Um, it does your pH checking, alkalinity, calcium, nitrate, um, nitrites, uh, your phosphates, ultra low range. Pretty excited about this. It comes in a nice handy box, keeps everything in here that you're going to need. Instead of having a bunch of the um, Hanna checker boxes sitting around, you're going to have one box. So I'm actually going to sell the rest of mine and just use this one to double check all my tanks. Um, I do like this one because it's going to be able to um, keep your uh, results for up to, I think it was 10 tanks. And I have four in my house, so be able to go back and read all the results that we've done. Get this box opened up here. stand up here. There we go. Okay. It comes with a bunch of reagents. I think most of these will give you like 25 tests or something. Um, so it'll last you a little while. Um, the machine, actually, it's pretty small. About that big. Um, the good thing about this, though, I read is you can easily change the batteries out. Uh, I know before I was missing screws and my Hannah checkers were not, the backs of them were coming off. So there's that. That goes right back on. Actually, put the batteries in it right now. It takes four batteries. Oh, sorry, three batteries. <laughs> I can't count. And then one more. If I can get these things open. And then you just put the thing right back on and just twist to close. And that seals it up so it's waterproof. Uh, comes with this little piece of plastic that you can take off. And start it up there. I'm actually, I think I'm going to do all the tests today on one of my tanks to double check my trident. Here's the reagent bottles, or the, sorry, the vials. So we're going to start out with um, alkalinity. So I will go get some tank water and I will be right back. Okay, step one, had me fill it with water. Hit next. So step two, replace cap. Did that. Wipe it clean. Gives you a cloth to wipe it clean. Get all the fingerprints off. Insert cougat. Check the notch alignment. There's the notch. I think that's the, yep, that's the notch alignment right there. Hit next. And press zero. Zeroed it out. Hit next. Remove it. Hit next. And then it says add one milliliter of the reagent.
next. Cap back on. Invert five times. I imagine more than five. Doesn't matter. Wipe it clean. Next. Insert it back in. Next. And then you just press read. 5.8. Super low. I knew that. It was pretty much dead on with my trident. Let's see what my trident reads. Got my phone here. Okay, if you can see my phone here, my trident is actually um, 5.67. And I knew it was low. My calcium reactor is offline. I've been dosing slowly to bring it back up. So that is very accurate, in my opinion. And we'll go on to do some calcium tests and do the nitrate test is what I'm really interested in. Now I thought this was really neat. If you look at this, I'll get a little closer. It says um, you can scroll down to log recall. Whoops, there we go, log recall. Oh, am I? There we go, get that into focus there. Um, you can hit select. And your test result for tank number one is right there that you just did. You can also um, delete any um, test results on here, but it saves them all. So I thought that was really cool. So now we're going to go back and we can check it all. We'll do nitrates next. Okay. We filled this up to 10 milliliters. Hit the next button, wipe it clean once again. Cloth. Hit next. Insert it. Oops. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't have it lined up. Right there. There. Hit next. Hit zero. Hit next. Remove it. Add one packet of the reagent. And you have to make sure you cut the uh, packets. Makes it a lot easier to get everything out. Then you can peel it open like that. out of there. Perfect. Cap back on. Hit next. And it says shake vigorously for 120 seconds. Whoops, and then I'm dripping. Then it says to wipe it clean again. Hit next. It says insert it. Did that. And hit read. Oh, and then there's a timer. So then you have to wait seven minutes and it will read the results. So we'll come back. Okay, the last 15 seconds here. We'll see what it reads out to be. I'm kind of excited about this. high. Not what I wanted it to be. 35.6. Whew. Let's do some more tests. Okay, got the pH sample. We will line up the thing correctly. Hit next. Oops, I did not wipe it clean. My bad. Stick it in. Zero it out. Hit next. 
remove it, hit next, add five drops of the reagent. One, two, three, four, five. Got back on. Hit next, invert five times. Hit next, wipe it clean again. Check notch alignment. Next, and read. And my pH is 8.4, which is probably correct um, because I'm dosing soda ash right now, so the pH is definitely going to be a little bit higher. And it's midday. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon, so. Okay, now we're moving on to the calcium. What I did is it says put one milliliter of the reagent, and then you fill the rest up with water, not tank water. So that's what I did. Place the cap, you invert it five times, and wipe it clean. Check the notch alignment, zero it out, zeroed, and then what you're gonna do is add your tank water. So then you use this tool to get your tank water. Put that in there. Hit next. Add one packet of your reagent. Which again, cut it along the lines, makes your life easier. No hassle spills. back on next and then shake it for 15 seconds color changed on it next low air bubbles for about 16 or 15 seconds to disappear. Probably can wipe this down again when I'm waiting. Hit next. Wipe it clean. We did that. Insert it. Hit next. And hit read. And my calcium is way, way, way off from my trident. So that's pretty interesting. Might do one other test just to double check the calcium. I know that um, the Hannah checkers are not always reliable for calcium. So.